All right, just waiting for the clutch line out. Holy crap, it's hot. All right, you got me? Yeah, I got you. All right, clutch lights out, warm engine up. All right, medical pressure 24 and a half or so. Um, another thing I always say about autos is every entry is the same. Okay. Um, and what you're going to find out is it's actually very similar to, say, any stance that you would get in, like, compared to either a shooting stance or a boxing stance, it's always the same. So it doesn't matter whether or not we're practicing, whether or not I roll off the throttle and say engine failure, whether or not it's a real engine failure, even if we get a huge gust of wind and then engine failure, you're going to go down, right, and aft, the same as you always do. Okay. Eventually, you can get to the point where you can do it blindfolded. Um, it's just muscle memory, down right and aft, and then you don't have to do anything. Okay. So actually, I, I do all three. Don't lower the collective first, um, because then you're going to have to catch yourself with the yaw. Do yeah. all three at once, down right aft. And then after that, verify that you're at 70 knots. And then you have some time, because when we do these, I'll be rolling off the throttle as you lower it. The rotor RPM is going to fall pretty pretty drastically. So, you can go down right aft, MI-70, yes, I'm 70, lock it in, and then wait till it gets up to the bottom of the green, and then put in a bump. And eventually, you can get so good, you just put in the one bump, and then nothing changes. Okay. You stand at 70, and as long as you don't mess with your airspeed, your rotor RPM won't change. Okay. Because if you change the airflow from perpendicular, which is sort of the best, uh, yeah. you know, airflow to, to have build rotor RPM, to a slightly nose-down attitude, it's going to immediately drop your rotor RPM. Yeah. Which then talks about a trick that you can do. If your rotor RPM's falling too too low, and, or sorry, your rotor or your airspeed's falling too low, it gets to about 60 knots, and you want to gain back that airspeed, take the bump out of the collective. Oh, okay. And gain it back again, so, so you won't lose rotor RPM. Okay. Push. Okay. All right. All right, we're in the green. Max check.
Looks like a direct crosswind. Yeah. Yeah, slide a little over to the left. We don't care about that yellow line. All right. One good thing about, one good way of, of thinking for a uh, helicopter pilot is risk management. So in any one situation, think what's the worst that could happen to me right now to hover auto. Yeah. In that case, so you find, or you customize your hovering to what the worst case scenario would be. Okay. So if you're fine of doing a hover auto over some slopes or at a faster speed, then by all means hover over, over whatever you can. But if you suck at hover autos, Try yeah. not to hover too fast. You know? Yeah, understandable. You still want car feed? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes, you definitely do. Um, so, in aiming, setting up for your spot, and really the only reason why we have you set up for your spot um, is just to get an idea in real life of how far you can glide. Yeah, so okay. So, what spots are available to you. Okay. Um, 
so we'll go from the freeway intersection. Since there's little to light wind and it's a crosswind, it's not going to slow us down that much. Right. So we'll use the top of the trim strings. So when your spot's right about here, if you're at a 70 knot attitude, not necessarily 70 knot airspeed, but 70 knot attitude. Okay. Uh, so let's say you notice that you're at 60. You notice you're at 60, you say, uh-oh, you just notice it's 4 to 70 knots, and that's, that's your correct angle. So when you get to the top of the trim strings, that's when you'll enter. Okay. That's when you're what? Enter the auto. Okay. To be able to make it to that spot. Oh, okay. So when, it, when the three-way intersection sits at the top of the trim strings. Okay. Taxi traffic helicopter triple two Delco Hotel is uh, Monday, Stella, Taxi Way 2 0 Johnson. Taxi traffic helicopter triple two Delco Hotel is uh, final, Stella, Taxi Way 2 0 Johnson. If you want to, a lot of times I just combine the left base and final call. Go up to final? Yeah. Because yeah, it happens so quickly. Okay. Yeah, that's true.
once you kind of hit that shutter, it's kind of like the level off point. Well, the level off point is, so the whole, the whole thing is an idea of when you're allowed to use this energy. So I'm allowed to use the small, now I'm allowed to use the medium, and okay. now I'm allowed to do the large. Once there's no more energy left, that's when you level off. Okay. I mean, you can't very well turn it vertical and right. it wouldn't really do anything anyway. Right. So when, whenever you don't have enough energy to keep you up anymore, that's when you recover. Okay. So it's all a feeling. Okay. All right, so you got all it? Right. Yeah. So just do a, a slower switch and picture small, medium, and then large. Okay. It could be all one smooth pull, but okay. we're just naming them. Uh, okay. Walk me through it. All right, stay low. Keep keep low until you hit 40 knots. So 40. And then pull up just a hair. Go okay. Bubble. Here's your 40 feet. Start with the power. Down, right, small, medium, large, 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 large. And now you're forced to recover. Up, up, uh, forward. Because you don't have any more energy left. Yeah, okay. And it's a it's a proper use of your training and your energy. Okay. That's all it is. Okay. It's the same as an auto. The reason why I start people off doing quick stops like that once you have that coordination, you can stop quickly if you wanted to, okay. you know what to do. Yeah. But it helps with the player on the bottom of an auto. It's like okay. extra practice, okay. basically. Or can we turn around and do it again? Sure. All right. Now, obviously, the speed at which you're slowing down is governed by your yeah, traffic. Yeah, traffic yeah. traffic one hundred. Yeah. How quickly or how slowly you're, you're lowering your collective. Right. Zero or something. Because you're lowering your collective is the only reason why you're allowed to pull back on your side click without ballooning up in the first yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Stay straight until 800 feet. 
because of another, once again, engine failure, possible yeah. engine failure. So, so now, but you can bend that rule a little bit. Like, let's say the wind's actually out of here. And here's going to be a forest. Here's a clearing into the wind. Well, yeah. then don't wait for 800 feet. Go ahead and turn into the clearing into the wind. You know what I mean? Okay. That's the safest option. Okay. Because technically right now is the the most crucial time in case of an engine failure. You have to start falling to e even gain the rotor up again. Okay. How does it work if you're on a turn and you happen to lose it? It's fine. Just continue to turn out. Just... Okay. But nothing's really going to be that much different. Okay. Depends on the bank of the turn, I guess, but... Traffic, traffic, helicopter, triple two, Gulf Hotel, turning left down, one parallel, taxi, two, zero, down two. Good junkie traffic, Skyline 190, mile, three miles to the northwest, we'll be entering a uh, right base, runway like two, zero, down two. Okay, so this auto, we're going to try to have the perfect coordination of, and I'm not even going to roll off the throttle on you, I just want you to practice lowering down right aft, and then I'll roll it off, okay? okay. Right. So you're just going to go down right aft, just like, uh, with the perfect coordination, and keep 70 knots. You're going to verify that 70, and then you're going to lock it in. Okay. Second stage is wait for the rotor RPM bump. As soon as you see it get to the bottom of the green, put a small bump in. Okay. And then lock everything in, and start your scan, just like instrument. Alright. Hey, John Dean, 198 Mike. Right base, two mile right base, on my 2 0 Got him over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I enter, all I really do is go down right, and when I my aft, I shake my shoulder and just pull it back. As long as you put the cycle like about an inch and a half, that's all that really matters. Okay. Down right aft. Alright. Now I know 
everything's happening kind of quick and you're putting all the pieces, and you could probably do each of them individually perfectly, but trying to think about when to do it each That's one. That's the thing of when to do it. That's yeah. the only problem is, is when Yeah. To so, so the first thing, so you stay on the controls with me. Yeah. So the first, like I said, the coordination you're doing is just the opposite of up, left, and forward to stay flat. It's just down, right, and just air out to stay flat, right? Okay. The same thing as an approach, okay? Only you're just doing them all three at once very quickly. Okay. So, first thing to do is down, right, and out. And then once you're, once you pull back that coordination, lock it in, verify you're at 70 knots from outside, not necessarily your airspeed, your airspeed's gonna lag behind. Yeah. So, make sure you're still at a slightly nose down attitude. Okay. At that point, then transition your eyes to your rotor RPM. Bottom of the green, bump. So it's down, right, aft, am I at 70 knots? Yep. Rotor RPM, bump, and then scan. Rotor okay. RPM, airspeed outside. All right. John 2 traffic helicopter, triple 2 golf hotel, straight left base, final parallel taxi, by change your All right, you want to pull our car beat up? Okay. I'll slow my entry down a little bit, just so you can help build coordination. Normally, I just, I throw everything fairly quickly. I mean, that's, that's... Quickly is fine. I mean, if that's kind of how it's going to be anyway. It just may not show you the best coordination if I do oh, okay. it so quickly. I understand. You know I mean? Yeah. All right. So get used to this. It looks like sitting in a chair, holding your leaning forward just a hair.
because if you can get an entry perfect, it's pretty boring the rest of the really? way down. Yeah, because you don't you won't have to really do anything. Okay. Makes sense. Sight picture of how close to the ground I need to be. Also, before you start blaring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, that's one thing I could, could call out like 70, 60, 50, 40, and then, then you'll know when to do the check blare. Right, so we're gliding a little bit farther than we. Metro Police's bases. 
Oh, okay. Kind of back to the same field or so. Yeah. All right. So once again, this is down right and just a hair aft as you're lowering it, just like that Indiana Jones thing. That How much right? Enough to keep you level? Enough to keep from yawing. Okay. The right pedal's for yawing. Okay. All right, ready? All right. Go ahead. Down, right, aft. Down, right, aft. A little bit more aft. A little bit more aft. Okay. There you go. All right. Opposite. Up, left, forward. Up, left, eyes on the side. Up, left, forward. Good. Stayed about 70 knots the whole yeah, time. Yeah, that was a lot better, I thought. Yeah. That coordination is what you use for everything. Okay. All right, so we'll ease back to 60 knots. We'll climb up. And we'll pick another field, maybe that one over here. All right. Or just constantly you sort of porpoise up and down doing the up, left, forward, down, right, aft at 70. So we don't have to go all, we don't have to just initiate a glide. We just, we'll do it down, right, aft, and okay. then up, left, forward. All right. Really pay attention to the whole attitude of the aircraft. All right. All right, ready? Yep. All right, go ahead. Down, right, aft. Down, right, aft. Down, right, aft. All right, up, left, forward. Up, left, forward. Up, left, forward. Up, left, forward. Those are two of all the maneuvers that you're going to do in a helicopter. Okay. The other two require that as you're taking out or putting in that power, you use it differently with the cyclic. Right? Okay. So when we do, like, a say, a quick stop, down, right, aft, 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 I'm choosing where I'm going to use to let out that power. Okay. Right? Or if I'm, say, speeding up, I go up, left, forward to speed up, I'm choosing, I'm actually pushing the cyclic, what I call, for effect. Okay. So you're effectively changing the uh, airspeed and hawk. Whereas here, you're only doing it to counteract what it would normally do if you just pulled in power and did nothing. Yeah. So if I just go down, right, down, so it goes. Yeah. Yep. All right. You got it? Yeah. Let's go in downwind. We'll enter an auto, and I want you to do about that speed for the auto. Every single auto entry you do, just make it a little bit faster. Okay. As long as it's under control. All right. So I guess you could call to mile 45 for left downwind. Traffic traffic, helicopter triple two Gulf Hotel is two miles to the east of the field, going to be entering left downwind, parallel attack, two zero, time two. Two traffic, mile to nine, four, four, zero, eight miles north of the airport, two zero, time two. Alright, then you just cut over. Alright, so we're going to go downwind, right the beginning part of an auto because also in doing this when you can do a solid entry and not have to worry about whether or not you have to get your 70 out of attitude it's going to afford you a lot more time to look outside and, land and, and picture where you're going to land okay so if i can go down right aft okay those are my options i'm going to pick that one it's a lot better all right let's ease back to 60 knots and get, get that 100 feet back with entering autos would be you lower the collective, then I roll off the throttle. Yeah. Once you're more advanced, then I roll off the throttle as you lower the collective, and then eventually I'm snapping the throttle off and say an engine failure. Okay. I think you started you like with an advanced one. Now granted you're pretty advanced, but it's hard for you to learn the coordination when yeah. you're having yeah, to that's, do that. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, traffic helicopter trip to Gulf Hotel, left face the final pair, left next way two zero down two. I'm in traffic, mile to nine, four, four, zero, six, uh, six mile final, one way, six, zero, six miles. Alright, everything's looking good. Okay. 
Grass, okay. Two traffic helicopters from two Gulf Hotels, final field attack with Houston Rose Scientific, East Side Grass, and Active 15 Touch. Alright, we'll jump in the middle of the field. Alright, ready? What are we aiming for? Doesn't matter. Three, two, one. Maybe. 
medium, medium, large, 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 and then recover. Make sure you're flat. Flat? Okay. Sure. Yeah. I thought I was. Yeah, it's weird, but he's still. Yeah. Okay, that was good. You used it consistently. Um, the way you used it, it's all about how you use that power during the player, right? Okay. Your car beats down. Um, so you used it earlier, and it slowed it down vertically, so there was no long, medium, you know, glide. Okay. So I need to go forward more. No, you're fine. You're okay. fine. There's a couple different ways to use it. Um, what you did is you went from 40, and you started slowing it down, and then you, so you came in like this, instead uh, of like this. Okay, I got Doesn't you. Doesn't matter. Alright. As long as you used it, used it consistently, and you're getting low and leveling out, that, that, was, that was a lot better. Okay, cool. I that's why I wanted to practice. I think that's the one thing that I'm liking is autos. Yeah. I think the last two have been really good. Alright, cool. Alright, you want to try for a third good one? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. We're going to leave from here? Yep. Yep. Got two traffic, I'll kind of put the two Delta Tower departing from the back. Fairly tight to wait, two zero, down there. Shutter, shutter. Always a little bit of right pedal, just a hair. That little bit of right pedal is because you really don't need your tail rotor that much anymore. Right. The vertical fin's taken over. Yeah. Okay. This is how I fly my planes now, just kind of lightly grasping it. Yeah. Easier? Oh yeah, okay. so much easier, especially with instrument flying. Oh yeah. So sure. much easier. Well, because, and I get people all the time. Traffic, sir, 702 Delta Sierra, 12 miles to the south. And I have to talk about it, too, talk about it. They fly with their arm. On the I see them pushing like their arm and sliding down the leg, and I'm like, yeah. that sucks. Yeah. Like, try to write your name with your arm, and it's yeah. not good. It's all in the wrist. No, with flying a plane, I've only got 15 hours, but um, unfortunately, it's weird. My boss had taught her old instructor, basically given her old instructor, basically almost a free private license. Yeah. So I was his instructor, didn't really get paid for it, and she got his 30 hours and got an add-on. Oh, cool. With us. Well, the deal she made with Wings of Eagles next door was that they were going to do the same thing for me in 172. Cool. Just treat me for free. Well, I find out, no, no, it was only five hours. And I'm like, well, wait, Adeline doesn't know about this yet, but I'm like, well, wait, you, we gave you a free private helicopter license, and I get five hours in a 172. Yeah, wow. So now the instructor feels bad about it because it's the owner that did it. He was like, if you can find a plane to rent, you know, then I'll give you the instruction for free. Yeah, like, cool. That'd be nice. So I've got 15 hours in a plane, now I'm stuck. Wow. So I think I think I would have to to Gulf Hotel. Left uh, downwind, parallel take away 2-0, John Jim. I really don't feel like paying for it out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially after that, I'd uh, roughly 2-0. Making a right turn uh, back to the east, John Jim. Right. Two traffic, 2 Delta Sierra, we're 9 miles to the south. There's the south instructor I was talking about. Oh, super yeah, nice guy. It's not his fault. Sucks. But no, I'm, my feet, pedal work was always tiresome in an airplane. I can trim it out just fine. But yeah. Always having that right pedal in. Yeah. And not being used to it. How many hours in a helicopter are you at? Me? Uh, 2700. Wow. So yeah, that right pedal, getting used to that uh, fixed wing is probably difficult. Yeah. Especially with that amount of hours. Well, I also threw me on my mind, so I find myself putting in that right pedal when I really didn't even need to, so I was like constantly pressing on that right pedal. Yeah. Yeah. Down to traffic, I'll come to Super 2 Delta Hotel, left base, the final parallel, taxi away, 2 0, John 2. And really only five of those were lessons, the rest of it was cross country down with Trey. Oh, cool. Hopping in a, hopping in a Bonanza or something, Baron. Is he, uh, is he corporate flying, or is he like in a, well, he's not in a helicopter because he's still here, so. Who? Oh, the Trey. Trey. Oh, Trey, no, yeah, the airplane. Oh, okay. Because I know he flies like a jet or something. He, he does that head. I think he's been flying a jet twice. He flies the Cheyenne. He, 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 you know John? Uh, yeah. Uh, he's flying him. His dad owns a plane. Cool. Okay. A little faster entry now. Just a hair. Back? Yeah, we're oh, okay. 
right pedal, right side, looking for your first instant. That's going to cure my hover problem. Then, I'm going to fall straight down, and then I use the left side of my body, so up collective and left side. Okay. So really, it's right side of my body, and then left side of my body. Okay. Ready? Three. This is all you. Yep. Three, two, one. Right side, left side. Okay. Right? All right. It just... Pull. Okay. Right? All right. Once again, just like the auto, if you can segment it into different jobs. So as soon as you're right pedal, right relax, and how do you know you did it correctly? It's because you're not doing anything but falling straight down. As soon as that job is out of the way, the other three quarters of it is cushioning up cushioning. and okay. a little bit of left pedal. All right. What time is it? Uh, we still have a half an hour. Oh, sorry. Before we get to an hour and a half. Okay, yeah, totally. Okay. I really want 
to take some spray paint out here and make like yeah. a box. Yeah. yeah. That would be nice. See this bushes? Tall yeah. one right here? Yeah. yeah. So it's like 10 feet ahead? Yeah. Okay. Remember, the whole tone of this is going to be how you touch that first skin down. Okay. That's my safe zone, is once I get that first skin down, then I can start playing with okay. the balance. Alright. There we 
go. Yeah, All right. Nice. Yeah. And then you go parallel to it. All right. That was, that was good. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, you ever seen a zero speed auto? No. You want to see one? Sure. All right. I've got the control. Is that something that's tested? No. Um, I'll sh basically it's so your spot like you hear may not always be in front of you. always be in front of you, but if it is in front of you, it may not be within glide distance. It may be closer than glide distance, right? Uh, okay. Also, there, so what you would do is you can slow all the way down. You can actually auto just fine going straight down with zero airspeed. Okay. The airspeed's for the flare, right? Okay. So, you can't go auto straight down and then just pull like one big hover auto. That wouldn't work. Yeah. You're ready to descend way too quick. So you need to gain back your airspeed to be able to at least get 30, 40 knots to be able to flare. So, what we'll do is we're going to aim for the three-way. Okay. I'm going to overfly it. So if we enter, we may hit the four-way. Well, okay. then what I'll do is I'll down, right, aft, and I'll slow it all the way down to zero. And then once it, basically for every 100 feet that you have above the ground, you can gain back 10 more knots of airspeed. Okay. So at about 500 feet above the ground, I need to start nosing it forward to be able to get at least 50 knots back to flare. Okay. That means 1,000 feet, right? So you're you're dropping first to gain the RPMs, or keep the RPMs, and then... Yeah, well, okay, so I'm initially dropping to gain RP, rotor RPM, because I have an auto. Yeah. But I'm slowing it down because I want to make that spot down there, not uh... the spot the field, right? I overflew my spot. Okay. It's underneath me. Yeah. I can do S-turns, right? Oh, wow. Never done that in a helicopter before. Well, S-turns? Yeah. Like, let's say I wanted to make this field, right? Yeah. See how I would overfly it and not actually hit maybe much farther than that? Yeah. All right. Well, I can do this. And I can turn and pull and pinch, keep it my airspeed. Oh, I can wow. level out. See my run up yet? Yeah. See, I'm controlling it. Whenever I bank over hard, and then I lower it. So you're getting that airspeed back. Yeah. Okay. And now I just choose to turn a little bit into this field so I have a little bit more of a straight in. And then I go aft, 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 aft. And then we're covered. Okay. Right? Okay. Cool. So what I did is I wasted my glide. I put the carbine down if you don't mind. I wasted right. my glide by turning. Okay. Think of a glide for an auto as a piece of string. It doesn't have to be straight in. You yeah. can make it look like a bunch of S's to reach a shorter yeah. spot. Okay. But when you turn, it spikes up your rotor again. So as I turn this way, turn, turn, you feel heavy, I had to pull in power. And when I straight back out, let out power. Right? Okay. Let out pinch. It's a little difficult here. You want to practice taking off? Yeah. Uh, you got it? Yeah. So autoing gets much more fun when you get away from straight ends. Yeah. 180s and S-turns and all these tricks that you can do to try and make one specific spot. Okay. And one, is 180 tested? Uh, do your commercial. Oh, for commercial, okay. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah, uh, yeah, looking at it. Alright, I got the controls again. Okay. I'm going to try to gain back as much as I can. Airspeed wise. Let's see if I can get up to about 1500. I didn't actually know it could turn that far. The, oh yeah. The, the angle, bank angle. Yep, it just really puts a, a, a lot of G-load G on the helicopter. Yeah. Uh, so it spins up the rotor RPM pretty high. Okay. So you, as you turn, like I said, as you turn, you're pulling in pitch, and then when you level back out again, you got to lower that pitch, and then you have to turn and pull in pitch. Okay. Basically, it's the same pitch pull that you'll do during a 180. Only in this case, um, it's a little bit more dynamic because you're straightening out and turning a lot more often. Okay. Normally during a 180, as you turn, it's kind of one level turn and you pull in some pitch and you let it back out again when you're straightened. Johnson Traffic Helicopter, Triple Duke Off Hotel, is on final for real attack to about uh, one and a half miles from North Johnson. Okay, Johnson. Okay, Johnson. 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 I didn't hear him. The whisper. So 
So my S turns would be actually my preferred method to try and make a spot, right? Okay. But the other way is this, this zero speed. Basically slowing down and then regaining your speed, right? Okay. Now, another reason why you might want to learn how to do a zero speed later on in your training, I'm just sort of showing it to you now, yeah, that's fine. is in case you needed to gain back airspeed, let's say you're orbiting something at a thousand feet, but you're orbiting it pretty slow for channel four, right? Yeah. And then if you have an engine failure, you gotta gain some more airspeed back, right? Yeah. It's just not gonna, you know. So right now, if I entered, I'd probably hit that jet, right? Uh-huh. But I definitely would not hit the three-way intersection. Right. Right, that'd be way too steep. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try for the three-way. Ready? Okay. Three. Is this you or me? Me. Three, okay. two, one. I'm gonna slow it way down, and I'm gonna waste some of my pitch. Because as, as I'm clearing back, See my road RPM? Yeah. Collective's like almost all the way down. And see how we're going zero knots? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now watch. I'm going to lower it back again. So it's all about uh, rotor RPM. Management. Management. Okay, now I'm not going to make my spot, so now I'm going to S turn. Turn, pull and pitch. Level back out. Pull and pitch. Turn, pull and pitch. Level back out, and that might be a little short. Alright, so basically, I did a little too far of an S turn. Okay. Otherwise, it would have made a spot a little yeah. better. But so those are the tricks to try and make it because once again, you're gonna have to get crafty uh, sure. with where you're going. Okay. You know. All right, you got it. Yeah. yeah. All right, now you want to try get 15 more minutes. You'll try 180. Okay. All right. Go ahead, take off. Climb up to a thousand feet and then turn on downwind. Uh, fly over the FBO and we'll get about 1,200 feet. Okay. Departed downtown Nashville. We're uh, maneuvering over the river on the east side of the airport. We're landing the industrial area east side, John 2. John 2 traffic helicopter from the Gulf Hotel taking off from taxiway 20 left traffic. We're going to do a 180 auto rotation on the east side of the field. And we uh, should be about 1,200 feet by the time you get to your final. No, we'll just continue up to 1,000 Oh, feet. I thought, okay. Sorry. I heard you say over five FBO. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, so okay. we're, we're up to 1,000. It's at 800. Uh, then we'll Charlie sharp turn. Two, three, zero, one, uh, we'll fly over the FBO. To the south. Uh, 2,200. Uh, we'll be inbound. Check up for a downwind runway 20. Two. All right. So we get to 60 knots. And we'll climb up to 1,000. Alright, good. Just remember, 
Okay. All right, that was good. Um, I think just the way your microphone is set up, when you are out of trim, that's why I kept pushing on the right pedal. You get it, you can hear, you know what I mean? It gets loud in our headset. Yeah. So I didn't figure you could hear me, so I was just putting it back in the trim. Okay. That, that was really good, though. Cool. All right. All right. You want to call it a day? Uh, sure. Can we do another one? Eight? Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we got time. Yeah, yeah, we got time. All right. Traffic 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 when there's no wind like this, or very light wind, we know a third is going to be on our downwind, a third is going to be on our turn, a third is going to be upwind. So basically you know to enter and wait a couple seconds and then look at your spot and then realize, almost picture it like when you, if you're sitting in a truck or in your car and you've got a raised median over here and you have to turn onto your lane, uh -huh. there's no dotted line, you have to gauge how to turn into your lane. Okay. Right? Same thing here, only it's a 180. Okay. You have to gauge how much you're falling and when you should turn. So that's different. Now, once you do turn, you can affect the shape of the turn to make the spot too. You can make it look like a teardrop, or you can turn it in sharper. Okay. All right? But we can guess, generically, today, that we're probably going to wait a second or two. Because we're going to glide a little more, so yeah. we're going to waste a little bit of that glide, because there's no wind. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to enter 1001, 1002. Don't worry about the bump so much on this. Okay. Because you're going to be pulling in pitch anyhow. Worry more about the spot and wait for when you're going to hit it. Okay. All right, so we'll keep on climbing up to 1,200. We got him. He's moving pretty slow. Yeah. We may have to circle real quick for uh, spacing. Okay. So... Yeah, go ahead and circle around the prison and come back again. Traffic 2, Scotland 330, Romeo. We are turning to right base, runway 202. outside a lot because you're not used to the rotor RPM pull as you're turning yeah. and you're also, one weird part is there's no horizon anymore because you're crawling so keeping that 70 knot attitude is yeah. a little difficult too. Yeah. It's no longer, the no, it's from your nose to the nose of the helicopter, right? That's the 70 knots that you really need to learn. Okay. Alright, you should be good. <laughs> Alright, we're at 1200, we'll be 79, so we know it's down right after you. Remember, make sure you're getting it up in that right pedal. Just like now, if you're if you're on a trim like this, it gets pretty loud and then I start sounding like a robot. Okay. So, when on that entry, make sure you're down right and aft. Okay. Just like a normal, picture you're going to enter that brown building. That's where you're going to land. Okay. So down right aft, and then we'll go from there. in just a hair here. John 2 traffic helicopter, triple 2 got foot to help left downwind for the taxiway 2 zero. Similar to engine failure with respect to Alpha and Alpha 2. Got the aircraft on final, no back to John 2. Alright, looking perfect. Slightly more nose down, just a hair. Okay. There we go. We'll wait till we're a beam our shoulder. Looks like in about 3, 2, 1. Down right half. Slow everything down. Okay. Um, it's just that right pedal. I didn't. I didn't yeah, get that. Yeah, remember, it's, 
down, yeah, exactly. That was, that was kind of what screwed you up. But otherwise, you see the ground coming up, just ease back a little bit. Um, and I just stopped it because it was getting a little high, high road RPM. But otherwise, those are, those are pretty good for never good. Can I do it again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Well, I think we have the helicopters from 2.30, but I don't... Yeah, it's just fuel that I'm... Oh, fuel, yeah, okay. We, we got fuel the wrong part. I mean, we can go ahead and take it in, that's fine. No, we're fine. We got enough. Alright. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. Alright, thank you, Daddy. Helicopter 22, don't go south, find a call, I'll take your way. 2 0 to the left traffic, down here. Yeah, I just didn't know. I couldn't tell whether you could hear me as I was yeah, I saying can't. stuff. I yeah, I can't. I heard you at the last minute, but it was a little too late. Yeah. I'm just not used to it. I've I, I, never done that before. I think we've talked about it, but we've never done a 180. Oh, really? So, basically, the steps are going to be normal straight in entry. Look at your spot. Turn. Pull in pitch. When you start to straighten out again, level out. Lower pitch and then treat it just like it's the same. So we're, we're kind of doing a small pattern. Yes. Okay. You're doing a U, a U shape, yeah, basically. Okay. Kind of all together, all right.
just yeah. so we can see me do that. So. Like a V 
instead of a U. All right, you're cool enough. All right. Holy crap, it's hot. I know.